Oh, well, seems like the game lied. Ooh. Is that an opening I spot? Well, let's hope for that. The Great New England Hur Hurricane of 1938. What was first considered a non-issue, the Yankee Clipper Hurricane had arrived on Long Island September 21st and would only uh, a few hours later turn out to be the largest hurricane to ever set foot on New England since the Great Colonial Hurricane of 1635. Moving north from Long Island to Connecticut, Rhode Island and up to Vermont, the storm cost the lives of close to 700 people. But in, by the end of the devastation, over 57,000 homes were destroyed or damaged, and road networks all across New England region laid in tatters. Shit. Well, that is a fuckload of damage. Can we take, uh, where is it? You can take construction repair. That sounds pretty good right about now. Alright, this whole weird, like, system of battles is going to hopefully allow this unit to do their job. Go, go, go. Come on, so close. Chance of reinforcing 9%. Come on, reinforce, reinforce. There we go. That should turn the battle to us. See, it still looks red, though. Which is mighty weird, and uh, in fact, it seems like... Uh... This is fine. Instead, I'll just help out this unit. Ooh, there's shore bombardment, which means that the Canadian fleet is around here. Friendly Supremacy 7000, yeah. Come on, just fucking attack the second Ohio Revolutionary Militia, you dumb fuck Portugal shit. Man, this is why the AI sometimes is just so good in Hoi 4. What are we missing, actually? Is it men? No, we're missing equipment, right? No, we're missing some equipment. We are producing the equipment, though, so that should not be a big concern. Nice. Uh, looks like the Canadians are able to hold on to... Well, it's actually not the Canadians, it's the Western East Federation, the Canadians, and the French. They are able to hold on to uh, Detroit. And, uh, yeah, everything else is starting to come along a little bit. They stopped, like, random CSA incursions into Canadian territory. Ooh. You're moving. Ah, oh, god damn it. Come on, get out. He's not getting out. Ooh, 
We really need to get down here and help out our boys, our friendly boys. Fucking Kingdom of Siam joins the cool prosperity sphere, of course. How are they doing in the Siamese Burmese war? Oh, uh, oh, uh, interesting. He's at war with the Germans. <laughs> Guaranteed by the German Empire. So he's just dragged the Japanese in, in a, into a war with Germany in 1938. Which might just be a fucking advantageous to the to the fucking syndicalists, because you know if the Germans are busy in East Asia, what's stopping the godless Sindhis from taking over Europe? There we go. The Green Mountain Boys are established. Very, very quickly, let's focus on construction engineering. And our, we'll get the Green Mountain Boys in there, but the Green Mountain Boys are pretty shitty, actually. Because it's a shitty division. Do we have, like, better divisions? No, we don't. Wait. The Mountain Division is not the Green Mountain Boys. Hilarious. There we go. Make the Green Mountain Boys 20 whiff. Let's see if we can turn them to that. We can. Cool. Now this is pretty bad that we cannot break through and actually get in here. Because they keep reinforcing. And, you know, like, the mountain boys probably should be going to where there's mountains. Have you, have you, have you heard of this insane concept? Mountaineer troops are better where there's mountains than normal ones. Ooh, is that a naval invasion? I see. It's the second New Zealand infantry division. Amazing. Let's help them out. Here we go. Ooh, we're actually gonna we're actually gonna win that. Which should be quite good to see because we are starting to get close to the landing spot, although uh, let's just say that it could be going better. Like they're starting to get pushed back quite a bit. Oh, come on. Another six days. Are you sure about that number? Four days, okay. They seem to be in agreement that it's gonna be soon, which is good. Are there any enemies here? Kinda. I'd rather not attack in the mountains. Wait for later. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're starting to fall apart. Oh, they got reinforcements. That's really annoying. Oh, but that was not in time. That was not nearly in time. Good. In fact, I could even send one of these guys along to try to... Instantly link up with my friends. Oh, no, apparently not. This would be pretty good, though. Because it would encircle the militias here. And we have managed to destroy one, you know, the grand total of one infantry division. Is it gonna be Batatai? Oh, no, no, no. 
It's uh, 55 days in Beijing. In Peking, sorry. Unite your total strength to be devoted for construction of the future. Hirohito. The East is under siege. The German-Japanese war. Amazing. Um, the fucking Siamese are beasts, apparently. They're moving into, into Malaya. Oh, but they are facing... Oh, look at that! Look at that fucking Nazbol. Look at that Nazbol coming in. Fucking Machino. Sir, fucking realizing the virtue of, you know, national liberation struggle or whatever, and uh, supporting the Siamese Nat Pops versus uh, German East Asia. Anyway, um. Oh, he's actually gone Shovakai. Oh! Wait. See, like, electoral reform. Oh, right, 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 right. Never mind. See, I thought, he, I thought he was military centralism, uh, which is not something you see a lot, but yeah, okay. So basically, he just elected uh, an extremely, you know, right party. Awesome. Great. Get this guy somewhere. And once we're done with, like, the CSA's southern territories, we're gonna try to support the advance on Chicago. Actually, stop this guy from moving. Because if we do not pin him, he's going to reinforce this guy. And these two militias are being attacked right now by the Portuguese infantry. The Portuguese fucking ultramarines. And the Portuguese ultramarines will win. There we go. So now the Portuguese ultramarines will win and kill them instead of just simply win. Fucking kill the Portuguese Ultramarines, please. Excellent. Alright, now I don't give half a damn about the rest of this land. What? Interesting. There we go. Let us try to disengage ourselves from this region. Because this is not where the CSA war is going to be won or lost. It's just a secondary sideshow. And it was important for Washington, and it was an important it was important to, you know grab a bunch of uh, a bunch of land. Also, like, look at this. The state owner is us, but like this retarded thing is happening, so I'll just cheat. Yee, <laughs> like you cheater. But it's like, I own the state, brother. I own it. So I am just going to, you know, paint the map with the occupation tool. All right. Yeah, the Yarmouth Minutemen. It's kind of important that they stand here and do not allow these motherfuckers to rise up, you know, rise up gamers. Do we want this? Of course we do. It's a meme. Uh, now, oh yeah, right, I was building this uh, RCMP brigade. There we go. Let's get this guy doing that. The Fall of Bangkok. Surprising absolutely fucking no one. Here go, JFK. Suppress the New York City syndicalists. It's not enough, goddammit. What the fuck? Look at this shit. Don't you got a military police, goddammit? Suppression... 6.7. Suppression 10. Eh. 
He's gonna have more suppression later, I think. And, um... Yo, if there's like a partisan uprising here... These guys are not gonna be enough to defend the city. But, we'll see. We'll see how the mechanics actually work for that. Because I really don't know. Alright, get those National Guards into position. Bloody Providence lifeguards. When everyone is in position, I can actually pop the staff office plan. Oh, there we are. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, well, interesting. Very interesting, to be honest. Very, very interesting. Was not expecting that outcome, to say the least. All right, office plan is getting up. Good. Reed's own. Oh shit. It's fucking Reed's own division. Sounds kind of royalist. Partisans have risen up in New Jersey. Oh, Jesus. Looks like we're getting a lot of partisan activity. Come on, JFK. Kill them! Kill those fucking partisans! Yeah, look at that. JFK is gonna kill the partisans. Amazing job, JFK. Oh, no! More part In fucking Washington! All right, that's it. Sending in the fucking Providence lifeguards to murderify these motherfuckers. All right, kill the f fucking partisans. Peru has joined the Buenos Aires Lima Axis. That's out already? Holy hell. Carlos is doing pretty well. He's taking Paraguay and Chile. And now Peru is in his faction. Will they gang up on Bolivia? Flagship for the Armada. What the f A battleship will be placed in our harbor? Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Bolivia is about to acquire a fucking battleship. Fallout of the American Civil War. Oh, he's about to get a bunch of immigrants. Ah, okay, so the go... The go is keeping him in check. I see. So he did a bunch of expansion, but if he does any more, he's gonna get cooed. Like I did when I played Argentina. I was not expecting that threat to actually come through. Good game design. All right. Providence knife guards. Good. The problem is fucking uh, Washington DC needs to be protected by uh, you know against those godless fucking syndicalists. In fact, as a whole, I'd say we need to turn down this front line and let the let the allies sort of take a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit more of the load off of us the rebel girl yeah they're still strong like they're not defeated although they are starting to get pushed back quite a lot All right, dealt with those partisan uprisings. Yeah, we're gonna need to. We're gonna need to get more fucking uh, mounties out there. 
You know, in fact, like, the mounted police, I think, would be better if we just... ...did that. Now, that would... Oh! Apparently that suppresses more. Somehow, even though it's got less suppression? No, okay, that was a bug. <laughs> but yeah, we can probably get a whole lot more of these out. If I just have one cavalry uh, battalion. Whatever, we'll see, we'll see. Alright, I think it is time for me to end the recording. Uh, so, yeah, New England's starting to look a little bit better. Next time I record, the goal is going to be to destroy the CSA, and then I'll click, um, I'll click this button first, under the Union, and then at the end, for last, actually, he can join the Entente, can he? Can he not? Hmm, working with our allies, American war plans. Yeah, he can definitely join the Entente. See, the thing is, though, to take this, he needs to have won the Civil War with no ceasefire in place. So, essentially, he needs, uh, he needs a lot of things to have happened. So first of all, we're going to deal with the Union State, because they're going to be easier, and then, or rather, actually because they're going to be harder, and then the Pacific States, because they're going to be easier. And we're going to trek all the way across the country and finish everything. So, yeah, hope you're going to enjoy that, uh, hope you're going to come back, I want to thank you all for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, I'll see you soon, and uh, as always, have a good one.